Back for another episode of Studio Tales, not Tales from the Crypt. This time I want to talk about my good buddy, Ed Green. Ed Green started out as a drummer for Marvin Gaye when Marvin Gaye was at Motown, and then Ed worked his way to L.A. and became a top session player. I mean, you'll see Ed's name on records by Jeff Beck, Barry White, all the Barry White hits is our Ed, Rhinestone Cowboy by Glenn Campbell. I mean, the diversity is insane. And Steely Dan records. And while he was on a few Steely Dan cuts, he's most famously on the Steely Dan cut that got erased. It's called The Second Arrangement. You can look that up on the web. There, and it's an amazing song, the demo version or the rough mix version that was left that didn't get erased is quite spectacular. That was during the Gaucho Sessions. But Ed played on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of songs, sessions, while he was in L.A., came to Nashville. Tom Dowd, yep, the legendary Tom Dowd, recommended to Bob Olson and myself, he said, hey, you've got Ed Green and Bob Babbitt and Reggie Young in Nashville. You should put these guys together. Oh, boy, was that an amazing suggestion. Ed is rock Solid. You could put a drum machine to Ed and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. However, the great brilliance of drummers are really, really great studio drummers. Yes, they need excellent time. Yes, they need to swing. But it's how hard they hit the drums. And believe it or not, to some of you who aren't in the music business, you don't want the drummer slamming the hell out of the skins because it doesn't record well. Also, it's how they hit their cymbals, and when they hit their cymbals, it's almost a little behind. They don't slam the cymbals because then your microphone mix is just horrible. You could even turn off the overheads and there's way too much bleed. Ed was and is, Ed is still an expert at this. His deafness, his accuracy, and his tone, and his uh, timbre, and how he hits the drums are immaculate. Ed is a machine. Nobody's got a right hand like Ed on his hi-hat. It's just insane. And he can do anything. I mean, he even played on a, one of my favorite records of all time, which is Welcome to Boomtown. Welcome to the Boomtown by David and David. I couldn't believe it. I mean, all these years later, I pulled it out and I'm like, oh my God, that's Ed? Yes, that's Ed Green. He's amazing. He's the best. So glad to have worked with him. Look up his discography online. One of the true giants of our industry on drums, Ed Green.